Okay, so clip tipped octagon rafter calculator. So as you can see here, scroll down, you can see what this looks like. Run into these on uh, buildings from time to time, and a lot of carpenters scratch their heads on these as to how to calculate everything. So uh, this calculator will do it all for you. As you can see here, we have to enter in a few lengths, and um, if this is a full hip, let's say it's coming down, you know, the opposing 45 degree hip is coming down over here, you're going to want to divide that span in half and uh, enter it in so that you get your full length hip here. So in this particular situation, we're going to enter in, um, actually, let's we're, we'll make P two feet. So this projection right here, not the length of the wall, but the projection of the wall is two feet. And then we're going to put R in as eight feet here. 24 inch overhang, 24 inch jack rafter spacing, and eight inch pitch. Submit. Okay, so as you can see here, scroll down. Now, face wall length, 2 foot 9 and 15 sixteenths. That is giving you the actual length of the wall from here to here. Projection of bay window, 2 feet, so we know the projection, and we already entered that measurement in. Projection wall length, 2 foot 9 and 15 sixteenths are talking about the same thing. Projection wall angle, we know that this is a 45 degree, just like a standard octagon. So again, our plate cut divided in half is going to be 22 and a half degrees. Interior wall angle, 135, that's the inside wall angle. Bay hip rafter run bisect angle, 67.5 degrees. So as these hips come up here and plane into the side of this, as you can see, a common is actually going to turn into a hip in this particular instance. I'm going to show you a detail here. This is a side view, and this is actually showing the octagon common rafter coming up, and it's going to need a bevel cut here. Somehow it'll have to be supported underneath, different engineering, you know, we'll, we'll determine how to do this, but how to figure this is this octagon common is going to come up and have a angle here and then this is a 45 degree hip and it square cuts right into that and uh, a lot of times I'll, I'll do a plywood gusset on the side of these so that I can cut this whole thing in one piece so that it's uh, it's one big rafter and uh, and then the gussets hold it together so you can put it up so let's put that back down and and again that's this rafter going up where it ties together here and then goes up the rest of the way this is that split cut that you saw show you another angle and this is the overhead view. So this is the rafter coming up. And again, all of these measurements are from the are without deductions or setbacks. So as you can see, though, the actual length of that rafter is going to be the actual cut line for where the 45 degree hip comes in, and where the octagon common rafter comes in. And then you can see these are the hips that come up, and these are at the 67 and a half degree angle and uh, you can see the setback here so again it's going to give us these hip angles but they'll be to this point so you'll have to deduct this much off of there okay so back to this common rafter run three foot four and fifteen sixteen so that's the run from here to here no deductions eight and twelve thirty three point six nine which is the standard eight and twelve plum cut Common rafter rise, two foot three and three eighths. And uh, again, that's the uh, the rise to this point right here. Common, and, and, and again, that is without your heel height or your hap height. That does not factor in the heel height or the hap height. Common rafter length, four foot one and one quarter. So again, the common rafter length is going to be from this point here to here, and that's four foot one and one quarter. And again, same with these, where these all tie together, they're all going to be the same length without deductions. Common over rafter overhang run. Again, we know two foot is the overhang that we factored in down here. Overhang rafter length, we know that uh, two foot four and seven eighths is going to be the rafter length from here to there. And uh, jack rafter spacing is at two foot, and the difference is five foot nine and eleven sixteenths. So that's our jack rafter spacing. 
So again, our jack rafter spacing is two foot, and uh, our common jack rafter difference in length, five foot nine and eleven sixteenths. So if we scroll down here again and look, we know that from our common rafter, now we did it so small at just having a two foot projection, it's not going to need it. But let's say we had a six foot projection here, and this was a big 45, and it tied in. You would know that our this common rafter here or here, we would deduct that five foot, was it nine? and 11 sixteenths from the length of our common rafter and that's how short it would be and again it would have a 67 and a half degree cheek cut on our jack rafters bay hip angle so the hip of the bay um, the bay hips the plum cut degree is 31.63 degrees the bay hip bevel angle 22 and a half the bay hip rafter run 3 foot 8 and 3 eighths Again, this run is taken from this point to our center line here of our hub. No deductions. Bay hip rafter length, 4 foot 4 and 1 8. Again, that is the diagonal length of the actual rafter length from this point to this point here. And then we have an overhang run for the hip of two foot two so again we know that we put two foot in here but the length on the horizontal here is two foot two and then it actually gives us the bay hip rafter length of two foot four and something and that is from this point here to this point here and that's the actual tail length on the diagonal you can see it was uh... it was actually two foot six and nine sixteenths so then main span hip is now talking about the main hip that we have up here and that's at an eight and twelve and uh, we know that uh, our angle is 33.69 for the main common rafters. And uh, main span hip common rafter we know is 9 foot 7 and 7 sixteenths. And that's basing off of this being 8 feet. And that would be our common rafter from here if that was 8 feet. And again, let's look at main span common rafter overhang run overhang rafter length jack rafter spacing two foot our jack rafter deductions for our normal 45 degree jack rafters is two foot four and seven eighths with no deductions our main span hip rafter run is eight feet our main span hip rafter rise is five foot four that's the rise of the overall roof main span hip rafter length is twelve foot six and an eighth and that's giving it to you from this point here down to if this corner came in here it does not actually give it to you to this length um, the calculator does not do that but if you watch uh, roof framing 101 volume 3.0 we will actually teach you how to calculate the length of this rafter as well and uh, and then you can see here we have our freeze block angles and our freeze block bevel angles, so this will work for square cut fascia as well. Miters almost 13, bevels 18 and a half degrees, and that would will is the angles for our freeze blocks or our fascia at this point here and here. And uh, so there you have it, and you can see how much this can help you. And again, we'll look at this one more time and show this connection here so this is the main part of the hip this is shortened from the view that we had before but this is our regular end of ridge common our regular common and our ridge of a normal 45 degree roof and then we can see our 45 degree hip comes down and gets cut off here and this is our octagon common coming up at a different pitch than what this runs at and then these are our hips tying in at 67 and a half degrees and again all the dimensions that are given on our calculator are to this center hub right here